Minecraft is great, but Minecraft with mods is incredible. If you're looking to get into modded Minecraft, then you've come to the right place. Here's Codekit's top seven mods of 2022. There's no doubt about it, pillager outposts are cool. What's better than a hostile tower full of enemies with uh, acceptable loot at the top? The answer, pillager villages with way more enemies, better loot, zombie villagers, and did I mention better loot? When Dungeons Arise is a mod that adds all sorts of incredible structures to your Minecraft world. Why stick to raiding an ocean monument for the 30th time when you could raid a pirate ship or an airship or, oh wow. I can't overstate how awesome this mod is. It adds so many incredible dungeons to explore with way better loot. But be prepared for a challenge because these dungeons are not easy. You'd better gear up and bring a friend, or better yet, like eight friends, before attacking this undead mining outpost. If you're looking for adventure and some real late game challenges, then this mod is the mod for you. Once upon a time, I built a zoo in Minecraft. I even tried to charge admission, but business was slow. It turns out the world of chickens wasn't as exciting as I'd hoped, and the creeper petting zoo received mixed reviews. Enter Alex's mobs. Presumably, one day someone named Alex looked at Minecraft and thought, this is good, but it could be better. Alex's mobs adds 80, yes, that's eight zero new mobs to Minecraft. From cuddly cuties that make great pets to monstrosities that make poor pets but can be battled for loot. Business has never been better at my zoo, even if it has gotten a little more perilous. If you do install this mod, just make sure you don't throw this thing over the edge because, uh oh, I'm gonna need a bigger zoo. Come see the world with Biomes of Plenty. With over 60 new biomes to explore, you're sure to find the perfect spot for your new home. This really isn't working in black and white. Just scrap it. Biomes of Plenty gives the Minecraft world a much needed facelift. With gorgeous new biomes in both the overworld and nether, Minecraft terrain has never felt so diverse. It really recaptures the magic of never knowing what you'll find over the next hill. If you're looking to make the Minecraft world feel fresh and new, then Biomes of Plenty is the mod for you. If you're going to install just one Minecraft mod from this list, make sure it's Quark. While most of these mods try to add one awesome new feature, Quark tries to improve nearly every aspect of the game while still feeling like vanilla Minecraft. The Quark website boasts 119 new features, with more being added in every update. From automation to building, new mobs to new tools, world generation tweaks to interface improvements, Quark does it all. It even has an add-on mod called Quark Oddities, which adds a backpack, and an awesome new enchanting system where each enchantment is a puzzle piece, and you try to fit as many as you can onto your weapon. It's honestly just is better than the default enchanting system if you ask me. And best of all, if you don't like some of the changes that Quark makes, you can just disable them in this convenient menu built right into the pause screen. Honestly, Minecraft with Quark is just better Minecraft. The Minecraft world is big, like really big. You would need to walk for more than 80 straight days just to reach the edge. At some point, you'll likely end up exploring pretty far out into the world to find a specific biome or structure. And that can be a pain when you need to trek all the way back to your base. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of great options for traveling long distances in Minecraft unless you have an elytra and a stack of fireworks. Enter Waystones, the mod I've always wanted in Minecraft. Waystones adds fast travel points to your game in the form of these stone pillars. You can craft them yourself or find them naturally spawning in the world. You can use a waystone to travel to any other waystone that you've activated. And you can also craft items that let you teleport to a waystone from anywhere in the world. This mod is simple, but oh so useful, and someday I'd like to see a version of it added to vanilla Minecraft. Speaking of mods I'd like to see in vanilla Minecraft, next up we have Journey Map. The concept behind this mod is simple, but oh so useful. Journey Map adds maps. Not like the maps you're used to in regular Minecraft, but ones that are actually useful. Journey Map dynamically generates a map of the world as you explore. You can view this map both as a mini map and as a full map screen. You can even create waypoints to keep track of interesting stuff you find. Forgot where that underwater temple was? Next time, just make a waypoint and you'll always be able to find your way back. There are very few mods that manage to completely transform Minecraft while still keeping the feel and philosophy behind the base game. Create does just that. Create is an automation mod. Now you've probably seen automation mods before that add all kinds of new blocks to automatically mine resources, smelt things, and produce new technologies. However, most of that automation happens inside block GUIs and doesn't feel well integrated into the rest of the game. Create is the opposite of that. Create is a full toolset to not only build automated factories, but also build any kind of wacky contraption your heart desires. Want to build an automatic mining setup that gathers ores and smelts them? You can do that. Want to build an elevator to travel to your secret subterranean lair? You can do that. Want to build an ethically dubious, fully automatic cake factory? You can do that, but you might want to hide some of the process. Create is an absolutely incredible mod with limitless potential. It elevates Minecraft from a survival adventure game into an amazing engineering sandbox that will actually teach you some valuable real-world concepts. 
concepts. Honestly, it feels criminal that this mod is free. If you're looking for a mod to add hundreds of hours of new creative content to your next Minecraft playthrough, give Create a shot. And that's the list. If you need help getting started with mod in Minecraft, we have a video on this channel that will show you how to install mods. And if you ever wanted to learn how to make your own Minecraft mods, Roblox games, websites, or video games, CodeKit can help. We have dozens of courses with step-by-step -step instructions on how to build all sorts of awesome things with code. Head on over to CodeKit.com to start your free trial today.